right. Um, so first of all, uh, with head control. All right. So um, as I said before, I'm gonna actually have you paint there. We're gonna be kept humid when actually so the water is seeping through the parchment paper. All right. When I'm gonna thin down paint instead of thinning down the entire blob of paint, actually I'll add all the paints running around. I'm gonna simply thin down just a portion of it on the side, just like this. All right. So this way, actually, if I need thicker paint, I can actually bring in thicker paint in there, all right? And so I don't want to have the entry of blobs just running with water everywhere, okay. all right? But when you have three or four clothes in there, and actually everything is really thinned down, well, you kind of end up with kind of really funky sort of expressionist type Psychedelic. of thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly, all right? Second thing, when you work with a brush, always make sure that you never sort of dip your paints more than two-thirds yeah. with the bristles, all right? If you go all the way in, you actually get paint in your ferrule, and when that paint dries, your point goes, yeah. all right? So your ten dollar brush is basically dead. All right. So be really careful with that. So let's start with the base coat. So what I want is actually a milky, creamy texture, just like this. All right. You see how well it runs. Make sure the brush is full. And what we're going to do is actually work with the side of the brush to spread evenly. All right. Just like this. So actually, I cover with woolies of white every other at a time, which is perfect. You see actually the paint pulling the cracks. I really don't want to have that. So what I'm going to do is actually sort of take that paint. And I just keep spraying it around and just basically make sure there's no explosion of paint anywhere. 